Yo, 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 what's going on out there, Fight World? This your boy Money back with another one, fam. And this one here is on three big dogs in this fight game. We have Earl the True Spence Jr., the former unified welterweight world champ who's looking to be a two-division world champion now that he's at 154 pounds. We have Terrence T-Boy Crawford, the three-division world champion. He is the current undisputed welterweight world champ. And then we have Javante Tank Davis, that killer that gorilla from Baltimore, the undefeated three-division world champion, arguably the face of boxing, and most definitely the hottest young star in the game today. Now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls all over the world, it's been this big question going around on why Javante Tank Davis didn't attend Earl the True Spence Jr. and Terrence Boy Crawford fight in Las Vegas, Nevada. We know that he was a free man. We know that he was out, off house arrest after serving his time. You dig what I'm saying? And a lot of people are alluding to that Tank, you know, had real beef for Bud Crawford now. And, you know, he didn't want to show up because he didn't want to, you know, wreck the show. Because he ain't want to put his hands on Bud. You feel me? And I know a lot of people going to be like, man, he ain't going to touch Bud. He ain't going to do this to Bud. This one going to happen. That one going to happen. You know, Tank wanted to keep it cordial. You know, um, you got some people talking about he was banned from the show and all that shit. That is not true at all, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Javante Tank Davis was not banned from fucking Las Vegas. If anything, Tank is arguably the king of fucking Las Vegas. Make it make sense. You feel me? Now, Tank probably didn't want to show up because he probably had things that he was doing. He was busy and things of that nature. Now, when it comes to him and turns Boy Crawford situation, uh, we see the little back and forth and, and things like that. But no bigger than, than you know, Bud. I mean, sorry, than Tank riding for Earl. We know Shakur and then riding for Bud. We know how things go for us. Um, you know, squads going with one another. You understand? We remember when Tank had the, the interview on the Rise podcast and he was talking about Bud saying Earl was go, you know, whoop Bud and, and, and beat him and break him with the glass shields and things of that nature and shit like that. So we all know that, you know, they have a little disdain for each other. We seen Turnbull Crawford come out and say he'll take the fight against Javante Tank Davis at 147 because it's a big money fight. As we can see, Turnsboro Crawford is after the big money fights now after saying he'll fight Canelo at 168 pounds things of that nature. So he understands who Javante Tank Davis is and what Tank brings to the table. And, you know, it, it is what it is. But when it comes to Earl, we know Earl and Tank is like brothers, right? Earl and Tank is like brothers. They ride for one another. They go stick on each other's side. Like I say, like Shakur and turns where Crawford was ride with one another. And there's no difference. You feel me? There's no difference. I'm quite sure Earl and Tank talk to one another. Tank probably FaceTimed him and, and, you know, wished him good luck and told him God throwing whoop butt ass, do your thing, he can't fuck with you. You know, the normal brother talk, bro. You know what I'm saying? Get get that pep talk going on, on days of the big fights. We all seen Earl show up to tank big fights and things of that nature. So we know it wasn't no no bad animosity with Earl and, and Tank. You know what I'm saying? It's just that we don't know what Tank had going on. But for sure, him and Earl are, are close and tight, just like A.B. and Earl is close and tight. So, you know, who knows what the situation was, bro? Who knows what the situation was? But nonetheless, Javante Tank Davis ride for Earl Spence um, 120%. 120% he ride for Earl Spence and ain't no animosity. And 120% that these rumors going around that Javante Tank Davis was banned from the goddamn fight is bullshit. Pure bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Tank can show up to anywhere Tank want to show up to, and Tank go get all the praises in the world. You feel me? All the praises in the world. What him and Ryan going to see or just do? Huh, I'm going to say it again. What did Javante Tank Davis and Ryan going to see or just do? 1.4 million motherfucking pay-per-view bars? 1.4? Where were they at? In Las Vegas. You understand what I'm saying? And y'all got the nerve to say Javante Tank Davis is banned? Man, shut y'all ass up, man. Y'all do just be running y'all mouth, bro. Some of y'all shouldn't even talk boxing no more. Period. You know? Y'all hate on Earl Spencer, hate on Tank so much it don't make no sense, bro. Straight up. It's ridiculous. And, 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 and sometimes, you know, y'all need to just think about shutting down the whole video. Period, bro. You know, 
Now, we all know Tank finna make his comeback. We all know what Tank about to do. And I'm telling y'all this right now. Earl Spence will be supporting Javante Tank Davis. Earl Spence might even be at the fight. You know? He might even be at the fight. So when y'all catch me out here talking about all this other weird ass shit, y'all can save it, bro. Save it. Now, like I said, Bud and, and, and Tank, they had they back and forth. Um, it, like I said, it showed that they don't uh, rock with each other. Uh, they don't like each other. Um, could the fight take place? No, if you ask me. Ain't going to happen. Tank ain't coming up to no 147. Even though Tank said he will come up to 147. No, Tank ain't coming up to 147. He got a, a whole lot of business at 135 and at 140 that, that's go, you know, help make his bones on what he got to do. Um, Terrence Crawford is going up to 154, allegedly going up to 154. He's saying he'll go to 168 to fight Canelo. He ain't taking his ass to no 168. So, y'all can miss me with that, with that shit as well. I got that video coming out next. Ain't no way in hell he's going to no 168. I feel like it's just all talk. You know what I'm saying? He riding on cloud nine, I mean, sorry, a cloud one million right now after beating Earl Spence. So things just sound good. It just sound good. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's, that's just how, how, the, how the game go. You know, you do something good, everybody go praise you. They go hype you up and things of that nature. If you lose, they go kick your ass all the way down to the bottom of the bottom. That's just, just the sport of boxing in today's world. You dig what I'm saying? But for us, Earl Spence... And, and, and Javante Tank Davis, like I say, them dudes are brothers, man. They brothers, they go ride for each other, they go always ride for each other. You feel me? Um, I'm quite sure Tank was pissed off after Earl, you know, lost the fight. You know, he probably seen that they want the best Earl Spence in the ring. Um, like I said, a lot of people pissed off because I told Earl to bring Tank in the spa, you know, to help him get ready for Bud uh, for the 154 pound fight because Tank bring a, a, a skill set that will. You know, keep Earl on his toes. It ain't about who you bringing in as far as about who you spawn. You know, and Javante Tank Davis is, is A plus. A plus. Jamel Charlo, A plus. You feel me? You spawn them A plus fighters, they're going to build your shit up regardless, bro. It doesn't matter who you fight. You know, that's going to raise your awareness and things of that nature. Just like Earl Spence raised the awareness of Floyd Mayweather when he went out there and fought um, Robert Guerrero. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's, 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 it's the nature of the beast. You know what I'm saying? It's just the nature of the beast. You know, the better the spawn, the better the performance. I'm going to say it again. The better the spawn, the better the performance. Straight like that, bro. And if Earl bringing them, them A-plus boys and spawn, he going to be well prepared at 154 pounds. I said it once and I said it again, and he going to get that W. You know what I'm saying? He go get that W, period. You did, but at the end of the day, man, look, Javante Tank Davis is a fucking superstar. Javante Tank Davis can go wherever Javante Tank Davis want to go. We know Tank did jail time. He's free. Um, who knows what he had going on? Um, you know, probably was kicking him with the family, watching the fight. Probably was somewhere to where he had business to where he couldn't make it that day. Who knows the reason why Tank went at the fight, bro? But I tell you like this, he was there in spirit with Earl Spence. You feel me? He was there in spirit with Earl Spence, riding for Earl Spence, rooting for Earl to be undisputed at 147. It didn't go Earl way, but at the end of the day, Tank was supporting Earl um, all the way, and I know this for a fact. And if you don't know it, and if you're hating on it, then that's just you, man. You're just a hater. You're just a troll, and you just want to start some bullshit. You feel me? Like I said, I seen some stupid shit where people run around talking about Javante Tank David was banned from Vegas because of the situation, what happened with him and things that like, man, that shit is just pretty pathetic, bro. Pretty pathetic. You know, Javante Tank Davis could have went to the fight if he wanted to go to the fight. That man probably just had some other things going on. That's it. That's all. You know, of course, him and Bud, they got their back and forth, their differences, but that didn't stop him from coming to the fight. What the fuck does go do? What, what's going to happen if he show up to the fight? You know what I'm saying? Nothing. Nothing at all. So people just running their mouth, man, at the end of the day. Um, if the rematch takes place with Earl Spencer and Terrence Crawford, I, I, I bet my bottom dollar that Javante Tank Davis being in attendance to support Earl Spence because they all going to be pulling for Earl to win that fight. Straight like that, bro. And Earl will be a Javante Tank Davis fight to let y'all see that it ain't shit going on with Earl and, and um, um, Javante. Period, fam. 
at the end of the day. You know, shouts out to Tank. Can't wait to see him back in the ring. Y'all know that's my guy. He'll put on a hell of a performance. Can't wait to see EJ back in the ring to get his get back or whomever else he go up against. They in trouble because he going to put on a hell of a performance. And once again, congratulations to Turnsbury Crawford for becoming undisputed at 147, the first man to do it in the four belt era. Straight like that. But y'all know I ride for my guys EJ and Tank to the end. And ain't nothing going to change. We on to the next one.